Cherry Peak and Revert. Uh, what does Cherry Peak stands for? Uh, Cherry Peak is the ability to copy some changes from one branch to another branch without merging to master first. Okay, imagine a scenario that you have a hotfix and some other feature branches and you need to integrate uh, these changes into these feature branches without merging into the master. Uh, Chair Peak uh, helps you to achieve it. So let's take a look how it works. Well, I created three branches here to show you how it works. I create main, first branch, and second branch. Let's take a look at the main branch. Okay, let's create some file here like cherry pick.md. Let's set some lot and ipsum content and save it. Once we save, we can create a pull request based on it. Let's take a look at the branches again. Let's see the main branch and let's create a pull request. Let's pull request it. Right. Once I have a pull request from a branch, I can perform the cherry pick. This option is located at these three dots right here. It's cherry pick. Look. Let's see how this option works. Well, once I create an once I click on cherry pick, I need to select the target branch. Uh, what does it mean? Which is the branch I want to integrate in? Well, let's try to integrate on the first branch. See that it will create another topic branch called cherry pick slash main on cherry pick first branch. Uh, it means that it will create another branch to store the merge between these two. So let's take a look. So the first branch will remain intact. Okay, so I have that change here ready for the pull request. Well, everything I merge, I merge based on pull requests, right? So let's create it. Right. And now I have a pull request pending for approval, so let's approve it and let's complete it. Okay, uh, once a pull request is approved, uh, we can see the chair pick option on another place. Take a look at the success message. On the same square, I can have the chair pick button. Okay, so I can chair pick directly from these uh, target branch to another branch. Uh, okay, let's take a look. Let's cherry pick to the second branch. You see that the name will become a little bit complicated. And that's how things go on. If I get back to pull requests. Okay, cherry pick main into master. I can cherry it, pick it again to the second branch too. Right? Okay, uh, revert, what does it stand for? Uh, once I know that I have a bad pull request like this one, okay, uh, I can revert it. Uh, let's see. I see that I, I am a master and this file does not need to be here. Right? So what what can I do? I can revert it. Look at this option. Once I revert it, it will create, of course, another branch to store the change. Okay? And then we can see that this branch does not contain uh, the change anymore and then I create a pull request to revert the change and once it's approved and completed I can see that my master is again without that change right all well, this is cherry pick and revert